Central Beds College students today, the access to nursing, the access to midwifery students, are operating their own bone density clinic. It involves them working together as a team. They're judged from the way they greet their patients, the information they convey to them while they're being scanned, interpretation of the ultrasound scan result, and the marketing aspects of the clinic as well. The clinic today links into the course. It's been valuable to have some practical experience dealing with the general public. It brings us out of the classroom and helps to do one of these practical assignments that can be really invaluable to our final grade. In terms of the patients and what they're benefiting from today is they're actually getting a free osteoporosis screening which isn't actually usually available in the NHS. The reason why I'm here today is twofold. One, I really wanted to support this activity for the college, for our staff and for our students. And the others to get tested because I wanted to find out for myself, you know, how am I getting on? I wouldn't have thought of doing this on my own initiative, so I think it's a good idea. And if there is something wrong, I suppose I'll get advice here to do what's next. So I have the beginnings of osteoporosis. I wanted to see if my results were as I expected. But my husband now is very low, so he'll be going down to the doctors. <laughs> We know from government statistics one in three ladies over the age of 50 has osteoporosis but is unaware that they have it because it's a silent disease. The only way they know for sure is to have a scan. Judging from the numbers, I believe we will be seeing over 300 today. So we know 60 ladies will be leaving with invaluable information that their bones are not what they should be and that's the first stage to the recovery. Some men may have Crohn's disease, they may be long-term asthmatics and, and on steroids. That will lower their bone density and it's well worth them having a scan under those circumstances. Well, the results are average, but well, the feedback has been excellent because it's explained the kind of foods I need to be focused on, which I do all of, or the kind of activity I don't. So I now know what my target is for the next 12 months. I'm very good for my age, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> we were surprised at the results. We're all really good, all above yeah. average. So I've had bone scans before, but not as easy as this. It's a very nice atmosphere. I'll come again. <laughs> team CBOC, which is our team for today, we started a petition because we're the only country in Europe that isn't providing a free routine osteoporosis screening. The government is spending 1.8 billion per year to treat hip fractures. So if we, we routinely screened people over 50, then it would save the government millions of pounds. It's a nasty, nasty illness if you get it and it's not treated. Long term, it makes economic sense. Feedback from the people attending the clinic today has been fantastic. Everyone has really, really appreciated having this scan done. People with great results have gone home being really happy that they've got good bone density. People that have got maybe below average have been made aware for free before anything bad could happen and have been able to go and find answers with the National Osteoporosis Society. We've been doing this for a number of years. Uh, very successful and every year it grows. Events like these give our learners the opportunity to practice in a work setting. So when they go and work with an employer, they're able to add value from day one. Today has been absolutely fantastic. It's been extremely enjoyable to get out and do something practical. It's kind of been a bit of a blur because we've seen so many people, all very different with different results, but I've loved every minute of it. It's been great fun. Yeah.